To navigate through your CD-ROM, once you pop it into the drive, you click on the icon that says Student Works OS X or OS X. By clicking on the icon, it takes you to the title page of your CD-ROM. And to access the material, you just need to click on the button that says Student Edition with Audio. Now, unfortunately, your CD-ROMs are a little over seven years old, so they're a little bit temperamental. Um, quite a few of them won't work by going this route. You actually have to go in the back way. So if you click Student Edition with Audio and nothing happens, it means you need to go the back route to get to the information on your CD-ROM. So you need to exit out of the screen. And it takes you back to the original window. Now to go the back way, you click on the support folder. And then you need to click on the PDF folder. And within that folder, you see a document that says SW open. So if you click on that, that actually takes you to the CD-ROM itself. Now, if you look in the left-hand navigation bar, you'll see all the different features of your CD-ROM, the different sections. If you click on the arrow next to table of contents, it actually opens up your entire textbook for you. Now, the quickest way to find the pages that you need to read would be to actually click on the page that says Page Navigator. If you look down below, you can see that there are page ranges here. So depending on whatever pages you're assigned, you have to choose the appropriate range. Now, our first unit is Islam, Life on the Arabian Peninsula. So I'm going to click on 130 to 289. Now, one of the pages that is in that section of reading is page 178, the biography of Muhammad. Now, if you look at the toolbar at the top, to make the font or to make the text bigger, you just click on the plus sign or the plus button, and you can see that the screen got larger. Now, for those of you that would like to listen to the page being read to you, in the upper left-hand corner, you can see the little speaker button. So if you just click on that. Biography. Muhammad. A.D. 570 to 632. Muhammad experienced great poverty and many hardships early in his life. And if you'd rather not listen to the audio, if you'd rather, you know, choose not to, it's really not a big deal. This is just one of the advantages of choosing the CD-ROM over the textbook. Now, another neat feature of your CD-ROM that your textbook cannot do for you is to give you the option to interact with the maps. So let's go back to Page Navigator. And then I'm going to click on page 182, another one of the pages that we'll be reading. And I'm going to make the page larger. And this section is called the Spread of Islam. And if you look, there is a map at the bottom of the page. Now, there is a little icon to the right that says Maps in Motion. So once you click on that, it actually opens up another screen. And then this gives you an option to kind of interact with the map. It does come with audio that gives you a background, so if you click on the play button. Muhammad died in AD 632, and conflicts began in the Muslim community over who should be the caliph. And, you know, you can listen to that. You could choose not to listen to it. But the neat feature about this is if you look at the key, if you click next to the various colors and watch the map, you'll see that you're actually looking at the spread of Islam from the Arabian Peninsula throughout the rest of the world. Now, this is a feature that's not obviously offered with your textbook, but it is a feature of the CD-ROM, which makes it kind of neat because you can play around with the map itself. So when I do give you the reading and there is a map with it, feel free to play with the maps in motion because it's, it's an advantage of taking the CD-ROM over the textbook. Now, if you have any problems with your CD-ROM or if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave me a message on Edmodo. You can email me or just even see me in class, okay? Good luck.